Looks like I was in some sort of car crash. Oh, This is like 1860. I crashed into a tree. Looks like a Model T Ford. This is spooky. I'm getting a scarred. I'm scarred. Uh oh. What happened? I'm so close. Maybe there's someone who can help me. I crashed way back here. Reminds me of Resident Evil. <clears throat> uh oh. Somebody's up in the window. Looks like a girl. I'm coming. That's definitely somebody. Oh, they're gone. I must have hit my head because everything's foggy. Alright, there's nothing around. But the sound of my heart and your sighs. Money talks. But it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. I'm sorry. I had a break in a Neil Diamond. As long as I can have you here with me, I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans. Uh oh. And I'm passed out. Crashed into a tree, walked to some sort of castle in the middle of nowhere. The gate was open. Somebody was up in the window. Could it be a girl? Could it be a guy? I don't know. This is Silver Chains. It just came out. This is optimized for the Xbox Series X and S. I'm playing it on the S. It's supposed to be scary. And it is the season to be scared. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. This is this is not scary. This is a tree. Trees can be scary. I'm gonna drink a sip of water. Water. Peter, we need to leave quickly. Peter, we need to leave quickly before the other trees catch on fire spontaneously. No. How did I get here? The last thing I remember is an accident in this house, but I passed out in the backyard. How did I get here? I should look around. <clears throat> okay. So when the game first started out, the movement was really slow and stuttery, and I thought that that was the game, but now it is super smooth, and I am really impressed with how good things look. Ooh. Did I do that? Like, look at the wood grain on the... Uh, rocking chair here. It looks pretty to me. Let's check out some of these photos. Looks like a girl hiking up her skirt. That looks like a banana dancing. And that looks like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's peeling wallpaper. Check that out. What? What? I'm gonna just... Oh, oh I was gonna say, I, I'm gonna hope that was thunder. But I don't like that down there. It looks like a bunch of baby dolls hanging. Oh! Oh, something could have happened. I'm not going to say what. Oh, I have feet. I've got footsies. All right. Oh, 
Was that me in the mirror? What is that noise? Oh man, the key in the library, hmm, what could be there? I need a key. And the key is in the library. Okay, we're gonna go back to where those baby dolls were hanging in a second. I wanna look around, oh! oh okay, it's one of those. So I'm assuming at some point I'm going to have to hide from something. Press Y to open inventory. I just did that. Jesus Christ. What happened here? Alright, where is the... Uh, where's that note I just found? I want to read that. Okay, there's something. All right. I wish I could read that. Let me let me check the uh no, I don't want that. It's so dark in here. Why can't I get in? Oh, I can't go in because it's dark? Really, dude? Did I open this? Can I open this? Alright. These are like babies. Hanging. It's creepy as hell. Okay. Ooh, nice little lamp. Alright, before we go in there. It's a weird little room, isn't it? Why is this room here? That's strange. All right, I have a light now. I can go in that dark area. That's what I need that for. All right, let's do it. There we go. He didn't want to go in there because it was dark. I'm with him. Now, how do I, uh... Oh, whoa, what just happened here? October 31st, 1900, I left completely alone. All of the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't blame them. I would run away too if I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. And this demonic giggling, it drives me crazy. I know there is only one way to get rid of it all. This is my last entry. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, I still have that. Oh. So we want to find the library and that key. It looks like we can probably go this way. All right. Is anybody here? The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. Oh, shit. Why is there always a ball rolling around? We need a key.
I know something's going to jump out at me. That's locked, of course. Where did the ball go? Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's like telling me to go in there. Oh shit. Oh shit! What was that? What was that? I'm pretty sure I just saw a ghost here. I need to get out of here. The way out is on the first floor. A little kid creeped me out, man. Little kid came from in here. Is that his handprint? I don't know why I need that. That's his handprint right there. Blood. Little kid. That's not good. That was weird. My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident without my knowledge. Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure that I heard that terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to Doctor, but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. So I was prescribed a new medication, and Dr. Morgan asked our new nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was a hallucination after all. Okay. Seems the person who wrote this diary was troubled with hallucinations. Okay. We've established that. Thanks for the narration. All right. <clears throat> All right, left trigger is a zoom. Oh. Every time I open a door, I get nervous. What the hell is that? Is that a cat? Looks like two eyes looking, doesn't it? It's like a cat. Oh! Oh, hell no. Hell no. What was that? That door opened. I'm gonna be feet in a minute. Of course, I have to go in there, right? Is that the key I need? Son of a hump. How do I get in there? I can't get in. There's got to be something. I'm missing. We'll find it. We're going to do it. I keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. Oh, this door's open. This door wasn't open before. 
Did it just close? It just closed. What happened? Oh, no. Anybody in here? It's a nice pedestal tub. I don't know why. Every time you go in a bathroom, you just have to look. What is this? Like origami? Oh, shame! I want that origami. Rotate the object using the right stick. Okay. Okay. Important, don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. P.S. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. Okay. Why, why did I leave that here? Okay. And the uh, music's back on. And it went off again. Why does it keep going on and off? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> so I have to find the kitchen, right? Why did that fly back out again? Come in. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This is getting creepy. I'm starting to feel like um, anxiety and goosebumps. Why am I. Oh, wait a second. What? I'm holding up on the left stick, pushing this uh, chest. Oh, maybe I can stand on it and reach through the hole to get that key. There we go. Is there a jump? So I'm confused. Alright, why would I have to move that if I wasn't able to just get up on it? Doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, there's no way to to jump. I should be able to get up on that chest and reach through, right? What's going on? Why can't I get up there? Oh! Now what did that tell me to do? Don't forget to lock the Baxter's door. Uh, yeah, the key's in the utility room. We figured that out. But I'm not able to get up on the... Uh...
Oh, this isn't good. Nothing there. That doesn't give me a choice. What do I have in the inventory? For raking coal in the fireplace. All right. We're going to go back to the fireplace and try and uh, rake that coal. This is not the right way, obviously. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything. All right, let's head back. All right, clicking on the left stick is a run. Clicking on the right stick is a crouch. All right, but how do I use this stuff? got to be something that I'm missing. has to be. i got to be able to get up on this. There we go. Oh, rotate the right stick. What? Oh, okay. Keep that in the circle. There we go. Nice. All right, we figured that out. Now I'm going to assume that that key is for here. Yes, sir. All right. Good job. So, it was pretty cool. So far, I like the atmosphere. Now, do we want to go down? Or do we want to go up? Let's check. The house seems abandoned. The key in the library. Last thing I remember is an accident. Pretty sure I saw a ghost. Okay, what else? All right. Man, it is pouring out here. I don't know if you can hear that rain hitting my window. All right, this is not this is not the way. We're going to go down. Ooh. How was that? That was someone screaming. Oh, that scared. That scared me. Anything in here? I'm looking everywhere. Because I know I'm going to need something to get through this uh is that a light on there's a light on in there man what's that noise is that a light coming from behind that door what's this my beloved harold died yesterday looks like this woman started to have problems after her husband's death I'm hearing all kinds of creaks and things like that. Oh, man. He 
Yep. It was a light. Coming from the fireplace. And we've got that rake for the fireplace, so we're going to use it in here, I think. First, we're going to look around, make sure... What? Wait a second. Oh shit. I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, or at least looked like her. She somehow knows my name and warned me about the mother. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. We're gonna go in this room first. Can we use that poker? Doesn't look like it. What the hell was that? See, this game's playing tricks on me, man, with noise. I don't like it. So this fireplace is on the same side as the other fireplace. These doors don't open. Was that chair there? These chairs are moving. Let me look around. Let's not look. Let's not look. Now let's look. I think that one moved again. We're not looking. We're not looking. We're looking. The music's good. It's got me creeped out. Man, it's like every door is opening. It's going to be so difficult to figure out what to do. I heard a creak. Did you hear a creak? I heard a creak. What was that? What was that? Did that camera take a picture of me? That camera took a picture when I walked by. By it's oh. No, I don't want to hide. All right, there's a piano. All right, let's see what this says. Dear Diary, the day before yesterday, my Harold came back. After a long journey, I missed him so much, and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday, we spent all day together, and he told us stories of his adventure. He brought us so many presents. Our children were very excited about all the toys and dolls that he bought. Shit, that scares me every time. Harold is feeling unwell after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I'll go draw him a nice hot bath. They were happy for such a short time. Okay. Moonlight Sonata. Okay. Why did we do that? All of a sudden, there's no noise anymore. No creaks, no thunder.
Oh, here we go. I just heard something. Oh, man. It can't be good. Whenever there's a long, narrow hallway, it's just not good. That should be like a... a... What? What is that little... Is that like a problem with the game? They have a little... I don't see anything. That's locked. Nope. Oh, it's the fire. It's the crackling of the wood. Oh, that's a creepy ass picture. Look at that. What was that? I could never have a house this big. It would never, I could never sleep. What was that? Oh! What the fu- Oh my god, that's creepy as hell! Holy shit! Oh my god! Are you kidding? How do I hide? How do I hide? How do I hide? How do I hide? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't hide. Oh my god, where is it? Oh! A tall, terrifying woman chased me. No doubt that she wanted to kill me. Apparently it was the mother. A little girl warned me about I have to be... You gotta be kidding me. That was the scariest friggin' thing. Holy... Oh! That was creepy. Now that was scary. That was a creepy, creepy designed thing. Holy shit, man. Oh. And the little girl helped me. I think. I don't know what that means. Holy God, that was creepy as hell. I don't want to see that thing again. I really don't. What is that noise? Shut this door behind me. I remember this lamp. It contains a secret. What's the secret? I don't know what's going on. What was the secret? All right, I gotta be doing something wrong. Oh man, I hear that creak. I don't want to see that big mother thing again. That legitimately was scary as hell. Alright, there's something here that we're not doing right. See, it's rotating.
It's rotating more and more. It's vibrating more and more. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just turning it and the controller's vibrating. Lever for what? Oh man. So the template for incredibly creepy, at least for me, is tall, lanky, super thin, and just a, a really long face. That really creeped me the hell out. Holy brick. What is that? What is that? Something scraping. Strange sounds coming out of the closet. Sounds like there's something behind this closet I need to look. No, I need to leave. I just realized they have no idea how to save. Oh shit. Oh no. Everything get quiet when I got in here. All right. Everything got quiet. This is tense. This game is good. Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They like to make riddles and come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their requests. Usually these puzzles are connected with their lives somehow in order to solve them. I had to rummage through their past and learn all sorts of details of their lives. Thanks to the diaries, it was not difficult. But with children, it's not so simple. Basically, they want to play. But games are unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present through which a human cannot pass. Can't is the word there. I don't know why I said cannot. They open them only if you fulfill their conditions. But we must remember that they see the world quite differently. Time for a sip of water. Oh, yes. Son of a bitch. I put the glass of water down too hard and it splashed up and hit me. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
Oh. What the f a blackboard and a teared a blackboard and a teared to piece photo. It seems that someone wants me to find Where's the teared to piece photo? I need to find the other part of this photo. Ah, oh, okay. Whew. This game is tense, man. Dear Diary, I don't understand what is happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed a smell, the same smell that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitated remains of animals. It's time to get away from Harold. There was much blood, so much blood, and it was mixed with dirt and bits of fur and that stench. And it was all under the beds of my children. I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like that? Harold! It seems to me that someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose to take away the only thing I have left, my children. Dead animals in the children's room? That's terrible. You think? You hear? Oh, I found it. Oh, Nelly. Is that that tall, creepy lady? That's a tall lady right there. I bet you that's her. I need one more piece. Oh man, the creaking of the wood is the most unnerving sound. This looks like a door, doesn't it? It's not. I don't want to hide. I want to find that last piece. Again, I have no idea how to save. I'm hoping that I just can do it manually. Yeah, we read this already. I need to find the other parts of the photo. All right, so we looked. I don't see where else in this room the other parts of the photo could be and I don't know if I can leave the room to find the other parts of the photo nothing there none of this stuff Yeah, I can't get out of the room, so there... Oh, there it is. Bingo. Oh! Oh, no. I was on that photo. Does it mean that they're my family? Timmy and Ellie are my brother and sister. Then there's my mother, but who is the woman with a noose around her? Oh, the door opened. Let me see if I can save. Continue, brightness, control, sound. No, I can't save. There has to be a way to save. What? What? I hear footprints. Footsteps, I mean. I hear footprints, I said. Creeping me the hell out. Alright, I think I, I was down here. Yeah, we went all through this. 
Yeah, we've been all through this. Let's go the other way. Do I want to fall down there? I don't know. Let's go back. forgot all about that. The library. Alright. Let's keep in mind we need to get to the library. Still don't know why this is here. thinking that we're going to want to fall down here. Can we fall down here? Is the, We can't. Alright, so we can't go this way. So we have to be going this way. Oh, there's a save right there. Alright. So we did 48 minutes. I love this game so far. It's tense. Whatever that mother is chasing me, that thing was absolutely creepy. I like this game. Silver Chains. I think it's great for October. All right, should we go back? See, I don't want to go downstairs. That's where that thing was. Oh. go back. Alright, so we know whatever we're looking for has to be on that second floor. This is just a dead end, right? Why doesn't this open? in here. This is where I ran from that skinny creepy long-faced woman. I don't want to see that again. That did psychological damage to me. Psychological damage. Oh, I have that lever thing too. What is that thing I got from in here? <clears throat> is 
So you rotate it and then the controller vibrates. Like the controller is vibrating right there. But I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Nothing. Nothing. I'm thinking that that little sh little drawer is supposed to open. Drawer. Anything in the tub? No. All right. This is the dead end. Can I pull that? No. This game is creepy as hell. Alright, back. What was that? Back downstairs? See, there's no way this is the right way. Alright. We'll pick it up another night. This is absolutely creepy. Completely terrifying. Silver chains is off the chain. The only reason I said that is to sound cool because I am not. I'm way too old to be using words like off the chain. All right, so I found the photo. Nothing here. This is still locked. What is that? Did you hear that? I heard it. Oh! Hello! What the hell is that? I don't want to go in here. The lamp's secret. Rotate the lamp. Oh, five times clockwise. Five, three counterclockwise. Five, three, six. Five, three, six. A week has passed since Harold left us. He changed after the trip. I couldn't recognize him like a naive idiot. I thought he was just tired. How could I have not noticed? I could have helped him. Every day the guilt is tearing me apart and I can't stop thinking about it. I want to be with my Harold, but for the sake of our children, I'm still alive in this damn world. My maids are worried about me. They called a doctor who prescribed some medication for me. He says that it should help me cope with the grief, but I seriously doubt that. I lost the love of my life. He was right about one thing. I locked myself away from everyone, from my children too. He recommended a friend of his, a nanny, 
who could help. They need someone. Else. Okay, so basically, is this her? Like, she went nuts? 536. We need to remember that. 536. Oh, no. I say we go back and do the whole 536 thing. I don't want to go anymore. Thank God. Five, three, six. Oh! I gotta go that way. What the fuck? What do I do? Do I go? Do I not go? Do we go? We just do it. Hi, ma'am. Five, three, six. I just need to rotate that little light. Here we go. Five, three, six, clockwise. So clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Boingo. Second floor corridor. Nice. Oh, man, this is intense. So I'm assuming it's going to be this door. No, you son of a bomb. Oh, here. Please be here. Yes. All right. We did quite a bit. This game is intense. It's got this crazy, thin, emaciated, long-faced, horrific woman chasing me. Silver Chains, Xbox Series S. We'll pick it up at another time. Thanks for watching.